Today we are back at One Road for the first time in what feels like absolutely ages and we face Wickham Wanderers at home. The home side currently sit 22nd in EFL League 1 on 23 points, 7 points of safety now. The gap has widened once again. The last two games have been very, very frustrating. Poor refereeing decisions seem to have made the difference. We didn't take our chances in either games well enough to get points and get a result from it against these top sides. But you have to say the officiating has really let us down in the last two weeks. The January transfer window has come to a close and fans are not best happy with the business that has been conducted. We've made a few good signings, but bringing in eight new players and only two or three of those noteworthy is slightly worrying. Some very strange business loaning out the likes of Liam Smith when we only have one other right wing back available. It's worrying signs. The visitors currently sit 19th in League 1 on 31 points. A bit of a disappointing season for Matt Bloomfield's man. They haven't won since New Year's Day where they beat Bristol Rovers in a massive, massive 3-2 victory. But they have had a significantly better January window than us, bringing in the likes of Matt Butcher, Saxon Early, some very, very good business. Nevertheless, I do have to be positive going into today because it is a must win. We have to win today. It's as simple as that. My score prediction is a 2-1 win. Do I really think that's going to happen? I'm not 100% sure, but we've got to hope. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can Cheltenham get a vital three points to close the gap, or will Wickham further distance themselves from the bottom four? Only time will tell. Let's head to Wadden Road and find out. Number two, Jack Grimmer. I got a notification, goal for Wickham. Well, 
by then half time, Charlton Town at nil, Wickham two. Um, we looked all right to start off with at the start of the game. We were the better side, but I don't think we were great. You know, we, we started the better side, but they were abysmal. Um, they scored that goal, you could almost see it was coming with the few attacks prior to the goal that they scored with. Obviously, once again, we've conceded from a corner and teams seem to be exposing that weakness of ours because we concede in the same way from corners every time. Gets ripped in, close to the goal, into the six-yard box and it just gets scrambled in. We can't deal with it and it's as simple as that. And it's got we've got to be looking at that in training because it keeps happening. Um, and then from that moment on, we've been absolutely shocking. You know, some of our best players have been putting in poor performances. We don't look mentally there. We don't look like we're... I wouldn't say we're not giving enough, but we're just not... We're not playing as well as we could. So something's missing, and hopefully Daryl Clark's laying into them, and in the second half, we can we can come out and put out a performance. That's all we can really ask. But, yeah, so far, it's been, it, it's, it's been shocking. It's been disappointing. And for a must-win game, which it is... You know, they're 19th, no disrespect to them. They've had a good window, they've got some good players, but we've been shocking and we've got to be doing better. It's as simple as that. Fingers crossed, we can come out the better side. Let's go to the second half. And that is it for today's match day vlog. It did end Chatham Town 1 at Wickham Wanderers 3. Very few positives to take from today. A step back, it feels, in our season. 
I thought some of our best players didn't turn up today and that was the difference. We didn't look like we wanted it enough in contrast to the last two games we've played. I wouldn't say it was a lack of effort necessarily, I just think we lacked the ability going forward. We didn't have that clinical edge and it was just a very, very underwhelming performance. It says a lot when, no disrespect to them because they did their jobs well and they deserve the win entirely, so credit to them for this. But I don't think they were that great. I really don't think Wickham were as good as they can be with the players they have. But, you know, when you're against these sides with some top players, you know, the likes of Sam Vokes, Luke Lay, etc., and they've bought in more reinforcements, Matt Butcher, etc., you have to take your chances and you have to have that clinical edge, and we just didn't have that. We're still seven points off safety, and it means that the next two games next week are absolutely massive. Burton away, Cambridge away. We've got to be getting at least four points. It sounds miserable, but it's facts. Very, very tough running for the end of the season now. We've got to start picking up points because in recent weeks... Performances have been solid, but performances don't get you out of the relegation zone. Points do, and we haven't been getting those. So fingers crossed things can turn around. Best of luck for the rest of the season, Wickham fans. Of course, we do still have to play you at Adams Park, so fingers crossed we can get you back for today. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please do smash like and subscribe. It'd be massively appreciated. And yeah, have a class rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.